I've quite literally just woken up and gone, yep, I want to go to London. I used to take myself out on dates. Hey guys, it's Connor and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Before we get started, I wanted to thank the sponsor of this week's weekly vlog and that is Karma. You guys know I've worked with these guys a few times now. They're such a lifesaver when it comes to online shopping, saving money, and just being a bit smarter with how you go about it. Karma always helps me find the best coupon codes when it comes to online shopping and I am a sucker for a coupon code. I will not check out unless I check for a coupon code because if I can save some money, I'm gonna do it. I've used Karma in the past for specific things like my home decor when I was moving and just lots of lifestyle home bits, particularly shoes and jewelry. I will always try and save on Karma so I can get them at a discount. Discount. So now since I'm traveling very soon, which you guys will see in the vlog, I can use Karma to kind of help me organize, make sure I've got everything so I can save it to my lists, etc, etc. So Karma is a Chrome extension. It's a free app. You just have to go to the Google Chrome store, download the app and install it to Chrome. So that way it can essentially help you in three main ways. You can find the coupon code that gets you the most money off at checkout, which is my favorite one. You can plan and organize your shopping by saving items you like to specific lists. So example for my list, I think I have home decor, jewelry, clothing, activewear, makeup, fra fragrance, I don't know if I have fragrances on there actually, but super easy to organize and keep everything nice and neat. Plus you can get notified when things come back in stock or when things drop in price. And you can also get cash back on certain purchases as well. So thank you so much to Karma for sponsoring this weekly vlog. I will have all the info listed in the description box down below. If you're a bit of an online shopaholic like myself, you definitely need the Karma Chrome extension in your life. Alrighty, let's jump straight into this weekly vlog. Monday. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's 7.21 right now. I feel like lately I haven't been filming on a Monday. I literally just woke up by the way. Lately I've been starting my weekly vlogs on a Tuesday because Mondays I usually just spend getting the weekly vlog from last week edited. I thought I would try and try and stay Daddy. Oh no, you're wet. It's a very wet and rainy day. I did wake up at like 5.30 but I decided to go back to sleep because I didn't necessarily need to get up then and it was all rainy so I thought sleep is more valuable at this point so I got it probably like at 7. I'm going to write my to-do list. I'm about to pop out to the supermarket. I shouldn't need to get too many things. I say that now and I'll probably end up getting anything and everything. But I literally nearly forgot this. This is the film camera. I'm gonna go to Kmart. I'm still not sure if they even do it there. Cause I was gonna take it with me to Carindale yesterday but I completely forgot. So my water. This is my getting back on track week. It's kinda meant to be last week but it's gonna be this week. My this weather makes it very hard to be motivated, but um, supermarket and then come home and keep editing. I've just been editing the weekly vlog all morning so far. Okay, I need to just accept that I'm gonna get very wet as I exit the car. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring those too. I'm gonna have to bring my grocery bags into Kmart. Do you know those things that like are embarrassing for no reason? That is one of them. Taking grocery bags into somewhere that is not the supermarket. Is that just me? Alright, let's do this. Okay, so I went to Kmart. They don't actually... They develop the photos, but they like print them off. Which is fine, but I think I want them like digitally developed. <laughs> Just so I can like post on Instagram and stuff if I want. Um, Cause it's kind of hard to like take a photo of, of a photo. Oh, my window app is going mad. Okay, 
so it's now quarter to 12. I took my sweet ass time then when I probably shouldn't have. Let's crack a light. Barramundi salad with extra lettuce. That's everything. No, thank you. She's back in the GYG drive through. Are we surprised? No. I always think I'm gonna hit my car. He's not a waiter though. No, I'm not. Yeah. He'll probably come out that he owns the restaurant or something. This guy's I look brilliant. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I I am actually currently tanning right now. I am always one to sleep in my tan, but lately I've just been very bad at it. So I decided to tan this morning so I can wash it off. Tonight, I tried to avoid my hands as much as possible so we don't have a repeat of what last week looked like. These are my tanning pajamas. They're like the Peter Alexander ones. I've just got on the Loving Tan, Platinum Tan, so I'm gonna wash it off probably like before I go to the gym tonight. I just hate tanning during the day because I feel like I can't do anything. I'm probably just gonna be doing some editing today. I know like Sofa Dofa like goes around in her wet tan and I'm like, I don't, I don't know how, and like wears clothes that aren't pajamas. Like how do you do that? I'm just editing the weekly vlog because I wanted to include some gym footage from last night. Um, So I'm just putting it in there. It's even though it's like not chronological, but I just wanted to have some gym footage and it's, I went to the gym, but it's just like a different day, if that makes sense. Cause I want to try and do more gym footage. I just forget. And it's, yeah. I've said this before, but it's like tricky and stuff. I'm just trying to find um, copyright free music, which is always hard. I never really know what vibe to go for when it comes to gym music. Cause part of me wants to have like dancey music and like vocals, but then I feel like more people probably prefer the more beats and vibey music. I don't know. At the end of the day, does it really matter? No. But yeah, I wanna edit that. I need to make the thumbnail. I need to finish. Oh, no, actually, I uploaded that. I haven't made it live yet, but I need to make the thumbnail for my uh, mukbang video. And then I have gym tonight, which I'm pretty sure we're meant to be doing 105% of our three rep max. So obviously, trying to go heavier than. See how that goes. I don't think I'd be able to, but it would be so cool to hit 100 kilos. I look crazy. Obviously, this is the guy color, so it washes off. I really want to do some work on early bed society today and get things moving again because I feel like kind of halted for a second there. But the cups should be arriving at the beginning of April. Don't hold me to that, though. Don't hold me to that. Yeah, don't hold. Hopefully, but there's always like delays and stuff, so we'll see. Um, let me. What do we want? I like you. No. Copyright free music generally isn't incredible, but every now and then you come across a bop and you're like, yes, I love that. That's like one time I changed my intro music, which I know I need to change my intro because it's not, I'm not blonde anymore and I feel like I'm kind of not that aesthetic anymore either. So I just haven't done it. But I changed the song once and everyone was like, no. So I feel like that song's very iconic. When it's just, I used to take myself out on dates with my old damn door paper. <laughs> I don't even know how I found that song. What was I doing? What did I download? Anyway, who knows if I'll feel much today because I'll probably just be here because I'm obviously not doing anything. Marinating, so. Oh my God, we're number three. Oh my God, I literally look bald. Oh no. Good morning guys. I'm off to the gym. I feel like I haven't trained in the morning in so long. Like I've just been doing the evenings. But I thought today out of the way because it's cardio. I feel like like cardio or hit is so much not easier in the morning, but you don't feel as like gross. Oh no, I have 6% left. Sweaty. Okay, 
So, throwing it back, how many calories did we burn? I used to do this like every single day. Tell you how many cows I did. I've definitely been burning more calories lately. I don't know if it's because I have like more muscle or something. I don't know. I used to always burn between like around 270 calories for a workout, but now I've been burning like 300 plus. I'm not saying this to be like, oh my God, I'm burning so many calories. Like it's just interesting really. I mean, Apple watches aren't very, very accurate, but did 312 active, 374 total calories. I'm gonna go, um, I'm gonna pop into the supermarket, I think. Does Woolworth sell clothes horses? I don't know. Is that what they call? Clothing rack. Um, because it's rain. Woolworths. I feel like Aldi probably would. Um, but they're not open. Like a clothing rack? Clothing. Because I have one, but it's not enough. Yeah. Rack your body. Gotta wash me hair. Kmart have some, I think. Oh, do Woolworths have some? Anyway. <laughs> Wednesday is gone. It's nearly four o'clock and it feels like it should be about 1 p.m. I also, my nail like broke off this morning. So I decided to clip them off. I also really need to clean up my room. My room. So I decided to clip it off because it was like lifting and the nail like flew off, which my fault, like I shouldn't have been doing it. And it just went straight into my eye and like hit my eyeball. It's, it didn't go in, not in my eye, but my eye is still like really sore. And I think I've just like really scratched it or something because it just keeps, it feels like I just did it when I did it like literally hours and hours and hours ago. But yeah, honestly, I just don't know where the day has gone. I feel like it's good and bad because usually I feel like I've literally been in my office all week and days like this where I'm just at the computer feel like they drag on for so long and then I feel like I don't like have anything exciting to vlog and stuff like that. I've gotten a lot done but my brain is telling me that I've been so unproductive when I know I haven't. I don't know I'm just having a bit of a weird day, a bit of a weird week honestly. She's a sleepy girl, sleepy baby. My mother is ringing me. Hello? What was I doing? Oh, yes. Not much exciting happening. I might go to my parents' house tonight. We'll see. I usually pop into their house like after the gym in the night time. Who knows? Who oh my gosh. It is Elisa's birthday today. I feel like there's been so many birthdays in March lately, which is so cool. And it's also the last day of March, which is wild. I like low-key feel like I'm just being this close to just like booking flights to like the UK or something and just going. This is my getting back on track week. I've just been thinking like, there's so much of me that's like, oh, I want to travel. I want to do this. I want to do that. But in my head, I'm always like, oh, but... You know, I always give myself kind of a reason not to, but I also don't really have one and I'm so lucky enough to be in the position where I can. So I'm just thinking like, why don't I? <laughs> like, why don't I just go? I think the main thing is like going with someone, but I also feel like solo travel or like traveling parts of it solo could be a really cool experience. Plus I do have family over in London at the moment. So I don't know, I'm just like, hmm. Especially now that we kind of can travel and everything is opening up. Imagine. And I can do my job anywhere in the world. So, I don't know. I feel a little bit like I'm living the exact same day over and over and over again. And I'm kind of doing the same content over and over and over again. Nothing changes if nothing changes. And I'm not saying the answer to switching up my content is just going, like traveling somewhere. But I mean it in a lot of other aspects of my life. I feel like I'm just living the same day over and over again, which is no fault of anything. That's like, you know, my job is what it is. And I've been in my head a lot this week, um, which is probably why I haven't been vlogging as much. And I know, and I feel like I sound like a broken record, like not being in a good headspace, which I am. I'm just being real with myself. And I'm like, okay, we've got to switch something up. We've got to do something. Don't just say you got to do something. Like you actually have to do something. And I just want to be real with you guys. So these are just my random thoughts on a Thursday but anyway aside from that I think at like 11 30 Lisa and I and some friends are gonna go get our nails done which I need to figure out what I want to get 
And when I'm gonna look at flights to the UK. I don't know if I with this neckline. Glory to the day. I don't know if I with this neckline. It's, it's a bit round. Neckline. It's a bit it's like mine. round for me. Yeah, it's yeah. yours. Mm. I normally do something a bit more like up. All right, Elise and I have just come to coffee. <laughs> It's Lisa's my birthday. Birth. <laughs> and then we're gonna get our nails done. Yeah. Oh good. Literally. Coffee time. <gasps> yes, it's so fun. Yeah. This graph is so good. Oh, look at him. They're too cute. Folks, these are my nails. They're very, very bright. And I haven't gotten a solid color of like nail polish in literally the, I don't remember the last time I did that. So I will probably be sick of this color in like a few days, but I just wanted like something simple, but I've just been in my office doing computer work, looking at flights and stuff to the UK as well. But I got an, a Gymshark package and I got these new power shorts. I'm not sure when they're live, if they're live, but oh my God, I am obsessed i'm very picky with gymshark like i like specific lines like the adapt camo adapt ombre vital seamless and i don't tend to like stray away from those um but these are the power shorts they're very very different to every other gymshark short i like they have the kind of the same scrunch bump as the whitney simmons shorts and this is like a v-neck sports bra look at the scrunch bump it's kind of hard to tell because they're black um, these are a size small, by the way, and they fit really well. I zoomed in. Hello. Um, and the camel toe situation is minimal to none, which we love to see. <laughs> and then I also got this like little cropped jacket as well, which I really like. I might wear this to the gym. I don't know. I really love the shorts. I've definitely got some quad gains there, you know. It is currently 4.17. I'm going to go to the gym soon. And then I'll probably pop into my parents' house. And then maybe book some flights to the UK. I've quite literally just woken up and gone, yep, I want to go to London. Ugh, YOLO. Have I ever travelled alone internationally? I don't think I have. Elise has got home. mountain of food <laughs> how good that's huge i'm currently watching saving hope spoken in the Friday section of the vlog but I'm just making my lunch because it's quarter to two 
like an enlarged salad. This morning, I booked my flights to London. I'm not gonna tell you when I leave, but it's pretty soon, considering I leave this month though. I'll just leave it at that. I honestly, it has not sunken in that I'm gonna do this. I'm excited because I really am pushing myself out of my comfort zone. There's so much of me that wants to travel and I'm so grateful that I'm able to and lucky enough that I'm in the position where I can do it. The thing that's always held me back is doing it alone. But I just thought, you know, it. Like, let's just do it. And I'm very excited. So now I need to get myself sorted for that, get organized just with like work and stuff. Make sure, obviously I'll be working while I'm away, but just try and get things pre-filmed where I can and um, like get on top of things, get organized for packing. I also need to pack strategically because I don't want to like overpack, but equally I'm probably going to need to take stuff for content and whatnot. And what I don't want to take though is a lot of makeup because when I went to the States in the past, I've been in my like makeup phase. So the weight in makeup that I would take would be the majority of my allowance. So I'm going to try and pack very light in that respect. So London, I'm coming for you. Please comment down below any recommendations, tips, cafes, things to do. I have a few cousins over there at the moment, so I'll probably meet up with them at some points. I also need to make sure I'm following all of the COVID rules and, and the testing and whatnot, but that should be okay. This is probably the most spontaneous thing I've ever done in my life. You guys are gonna come along for the run. Quite literally just woke up yesterday and was like, I'm gonna go to London. And then I booked it this morning. So I'm not looking forward to the flight though because the longest flight that I've been on is about 13 hours and that was to LA. So we'll see how we go. Perfect. I was feeling very, uh, I'm the best I can. I feel like I haven't sat on my floor and done a little bit of a PR unboxing in so long. I used to always do this in my like old bedroom, which feels like a lifetime ago. Completely different world. Um, so we've gotten a couple packages yesterday. Firstly, oh, I need to pick that up. I literally haven't left my house this week for things that weren't the gym or kind of like going to the supermarket. Like I haven't gone anywhere. Firstly, I am super excited to try this. I've never tried sounds like there's someone like at my door, but I know they're not. I've never tried a menstrual cup or a period cup before. I feel like people either love them or hate them. This is by the brand Period Proof, I believe. Yep, yeah, so this is their period cup. So obviously these are way more sustainable than like tampons and pads because you can just reuse this over and over and over again rather than using a pad, throwing it away and whatnot. However, like I said, I know a lot of people don't like these or some people swear by them. It really just depends. So I'm very curious. I'm very hopeful that I like it because it's say it helps the environment, saves money. And apparently you can like wear them for a lot longer than like a tampon. I saw that coming. That's what it looks like. Okay. See, I'm just like, oh, that's cool. It comes with a little pouch. Stop. That's really cute. It's like a little silicone pouch. So, I don't know what size this is. My head. Hang on. I'm just going to close my door. Hey. <clears throat> Essentially, you just kind of like fold it up and shove it up there. Similar to like a tampon, but obviously, oh, there's two. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, <laughs> got it. They also sent some intimate wash. So this is a soap, soap free and pH balancing. Holding as much as three times as what a super tampon can absorb. You can wear it up to 12 hours, making it really good for women on the go. Made from 100% medical grade silicone and free from toxins, chemicals, etc. Ooh, right. This is the regular size, and then this is the small size. Oh, I'm excited. Especially if I have my period when I'm overseas, I don't want to have to be changing my tampon all the time. So I'm guessing, like, you kind of just go, and then it expands. So obviously I have to wait till I have my period to try this, but I'm very excited. So thank you for that. I shall keep you updated. And then I got in a package from a brand called Sayer, which I believe is... Skincare. Oh. Say it was actually founded in Noosa. I love Noosa. We have a Renew Serum, a vitamin C complex. My skin's being a little bit annoying at the moment. I'm not really sure why. Ooh, niacinamide. I've always got some sort of like hormonal breakout at the moment. All right, next we have Naked Harvest, which I'm pretty sure. Ooh, yay. We have a stock up of some moon milk. We got a big chocolate. And then my favorite vanilla maple chai. We love to see it. And 
then I got one from Shinora, which I'm pretty sure is some Rune Plus. Watermelon Renew Plus and some Beauty Brain. And then this one is from the Affirmation Co. These are some affirmation cards. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. I feel like that's really cool timing that they came. They just look like that. So this one says, I see each day as a new opportunity. I celebrate both the big and small wins. I am excited about what is to come. Very fitting. I don't know if any of those folks, but thank you so much. They also sent a phone case that just says, keep glowing on it with a little flower. And then we also sent a little bracelet. It's not gonna focus on it, probably. Which just says, I am enough. Which is cute because my tattoo on my back says more than enough. So let me actually put that on now. Love that. Ooh, I probably need to stretch out my back from yesterday when we did our deadlifts. I did three reps of 90, which at the beginning of the challenge, I could only do two with 90 and I did it without a belt this time. Granted, my back definitely rounded a bit, but they felt really good. Like I felt strong, even though they rounded back a little bit. And then I did three for 100, which my form was pretty bad in those ones, but I've never been able to do three reps of 100 kilos. I think I might just chill out for a second and then keep working until I go to the gym. I'm very excited for this period cover. I never thought I'd be so excited to get my period. So I'll chat to you later. Guess where I am? Is this the third time this week that I've gotten GYG? I've been really on a GYG train right now. I'm just really loving the barramundi salad. It's so good. I'm just kind of rolling with it. Just finished the gym. I feel a bit sick though. It's like my body just doesn't like doing cardio in the... Hello? In the evening, I've definitely come at like peak time, so people are probably looking at my camera. I'm gonna go to mum and dad's house after this to see them and chat about my travel endeavors. I ordered a SIM card, which is good. I feel very organized. Let's have a bit of a car jam session. Oh my god, this song. Broken home, baby. I can never blame you. Don't let goodbyes come too easy. Please get a barramundi salad and can I add shredded lettuce and extra barramundi? Guys, we've got a bit of a weight on the barramundi. It's fine though. It's all right, it's worth it because it's so good. I love barramundi. I heard he had a style. Strum in my play with his fingers. I just want to look good for your homie angel. Get ready with me for a day. Three percent. Good morning. Please excuse the fact that I have concealer and not blended out on my face. I put it on. I'm gonna leave it for a while and then put foundation on top of it. Try the whole like Michaela trick. Excuse me. But I want to film a TikTok this morning. It's Saturday. Happy Saturday, Charles. You having a good day? <laughs> You're the goodest girl. You're the bestest girl in the world. She's got like a, such a small head for a Roddy. Cause you're such a you're such a lady. <laughs> I've been a little bit in my head about vlogging lately. I feel like I'm always so conscious to not be super chatty. But I mean, for me personally, I really like chatty vlogs. I like listening to people talk. Like I tend to follow people for their personality, not 17 minute montages of like music and stuff. I mean, I feel like you can get that good balance, but I'm just like, can I just like pick up the camera and talk if that's what you're doing, so. I bought this shirt on today. My mum borrowed it for St. Patrick's Day and she got makeup on it, but it's fine. Speaking of my mum, we're actually gonna go to um, a Westfield today because I wanna do some shopping. I love how I'm like straight into getting organized mode because it's pretty soon, not gonna lie. I'm not gonna tell you when, but yeah. I posted on my story asking for like recommendations and stuff and you guys have sent through so many things to do in London and whatnot. I mainly wanna get a kind of like a white, oh my camera's gonna die a white puffer jacket because I feel like that'll go with a lot of things and I kind of want to get so like a white puffer jacket and then a black jacket as well like I don't know I have this one from Nasty Gal that I took with me to the states and I get so many questions about it and I still have it and it's really good I think I would just I don't know I might have another look around but yeah I'm just gonna go with mum and have a little look around yeah I'll chat to you then because I need to charge my camera
5.50 p.m. Been back from the shops for a little while. I'm very excited about these pants that I got. I'm so weird with trends. I usually hate them initially, and then by the time that it's kind of done, I hop on the trend and I feel like the cargo pant trend is one of them. I don't know if these are like the specific ones that everyone wears, but these are from Lioness, but I got them at Universal store and I got them in a, this green color and like a khaki, khaki green. And I feel like they look really cool. They're kind of long. I probably could do with a bit of hemming. I've got my platform shoes on, but they're just like super comfy. In all honesty, I'm not a huge fan of jeans. I feel like I find them very uncomfortable and I feel like these would be really good to take with me to London. Sounds so weird to say that. They do run pretty big though. These are an extra, extra small. And like even now, they're still like quite baggy. I would say definitely size down. But yeah, they're just kind of cool, a bit different for me. So I didn't end up finding any jackets that I liked. I think I'm going to have to have a look online. I feel like I've got a million and one things to do just to like prepare and get ready. And when I get overwhelmed, I just don't know where to start. So I don't start. I feel like I am getting organized, but I don't know. <laughs> this is the dinner fit for tonight. The top is Princess Polly pants lioness. I actually don't know if they sell them on Princess Polly. Um, and then these are my Windsor Smith sneakers and i've just been wearing these headphones which have probably taken off my makeup also update on my lash serum i've got mascara on right now and this is really bad lighting hang on look at my eyelashes i feel like they've definitely gotten longer i don't know if they've gotten any thicker and this is not a good comparison because i've got mascara i feel like it's working and it's been about a month so definitely need to give it some more time but yeah i'm about to go out to dinner with my family that'll be nice damn i should have picked up some makeup when i went today Silly me. Anyway, I look so funny. I'm definitely gonna take these on the plane with me, so. My angel number. I did wake up at about six because Charlie always wakes me up at that time. But then I went back to sleep just because it's Sunday. I always like to try and have one sleep in a week where I just kind of really rest because, you know, you don't have to wake up at the crack of dawn every single day of your life. Like rest is important and sleeping in is important, whatever that looks like for you. I know some people sleeping in till 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Sleeping until like 7 a.m. is a big sleep in for some people or, you know, 10.30 a.m. might be a good sleep in. It just really depends. So I've had my breakfast, my coffee. I'm going to write a to-do list once I get out. I need to do a bunch of cleaning. I want to go to the supermarket. Usually I do that on a Monday, but I think I just want to get it done today because I think I have quite a busy week coming up. Main thing is like really like to clean my bathroom because my bathroom's covered in dog hair. Shower time. I'm just listening to the Miley Cyrus live album. Okay, she's out of the shower. My towels are getting washed. This is why I have this towel. I need to scrub off my tan because I'm doing a shoot next week. And last time I did it, I had a really patchy tan and it was very annoying in photos. Skincare, back in C. Skin is so weird, man. Like I have no idea what really affects it. I drink serum. I always apply my skincare pretty wet now. I have a pimple in this eyebrow but it's not like coming to the surface, but it just hurts. It's not possible for me. Q-tips. I also need Q-tips for my... Oh my God, no, they're definitely longer. Oh no, for sure. Oh, yay. Yay, it's working. Oh my God, I'm so excited. They say to apply in the morning because apparently, this is just what Mariana 
where I get my lash that they told me. That's where I bought this from in Brisbane. Um, I'll link her Instagram if you guys wanna, if you're in Brizzy. Because if you apply it at night, it can go onto your bottom lashes and then make your lower lashes grow <laughs> really long. Um, and I guess that's something that like most people want to avoid, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if I'd be opposed to having like super long lashes. Honestly, sometimes I do apply it at night if I forget. But I just do like a line as if I'm applying eyeliner, but it's like super quick. And normally I'm pretty bad with things like this. Like I can't be bothered. I think because so many people have had such good results with this and like other lash serums, I've been really doing it. Just because I feel like my lashes looked a little bit sad there for a second. are we going for today? I kind of want to go with this one. This is the Who is Elijah one because it's so fresh and it's a very sunny day today. So I feel like I want to smell fresh. I've been happy, born you dreaming. Honestly, this shirt, I need it in multiple colors because I wear it all the time. It's just from White Fox, but it's just so comfy. It comes in a set, but I just, I love it. This is the state of my bedroom currently. Should we do that? Yeah. First of all, open a window. I'm not gonna wash my bed sheets because I'm gonna do that after I tan later in the week. Yes, it is covered in dog fur, but I've just accepted that. <laughs> pop on a little bit of makeup the main thing i'm thinking about is like when do i go to the supermarket i'm like do i do that straight off or do i get all my home tasks done first and then do i go to the supermarket the only bad thing about doing supermarket shopping on a, on a sunday is one everyone does it on a sunday or at least like around where i am almost I'm tangled. and they usually don't have very good stock on a sunday either so let me ponder this thought while i on some It's been nearly winter and I'm quite literally sweating my tits off. My lord. We have some carrots. POV, you're in my fridge. Sorry about the beeping. Some Lebanese bread, which I'm literally just gonna chuck in the freezer because I, I use that for pizzas. I have a lot of salsa, Dijon mustard, tomatoes, mushrooms, a can of red kidney beans, some yogurt. Some mixed greens. I just poked my nail on that. And then they didn't have any frozen veggies, so I just got these like steamed bags, which are essentially frozen veggies, but some eggs. Slide. Fridge is filling up, guys. Oh, it's so shiny. Cucumbers. Oh my god, I really need a pad on my face. It's very hot today. Some zucchini. Some black beans, some chickpeas. I got some almond milks, some frozen egg whites that I'm gonna pop in the sink. Okay, I'm gonna take this out of the fridge now because I need to shut the fridge. Shut up, okay, I know. Got some mini rice bites, rice cakes, sauerkraut, super local noodles. Oh, the pantry and fridge are looking stocked. 
Okay, and then I also got a rotisserie chicken, which I'm gonna separate and put in a, in a different bowl, a bowl, a container. Having chicken on hand is so handy and my family used to do this all the time. And then as soon as I moved out, I kind of stopped doing it. I also got some toothpaste. This is the best mascara ever, the Enco Beauty <laughs> Extend Lash. Hello, yes. So I got a fresh one, so I'm stocked up for my trip. Nurofen, a moisturizer. This is the Aveeno one, Skin Relief. I feel like this would be good to travel with because it's not too like big, although it's a bit heavy. And then I got some Before You Speak coffee. Okay, I just snacked on some chicken before, but I just made this massive salad for my lunch. The time is two o'clock. I honestly have no idea where the day is going because there's still a lot to do, but I need to do cleaning after this. So. Right off the bat, they had to let it rest. Yes, spit it out. I don't care about if you 